back with trending stocks and zacks.com. Now, everywhere you look, stocks are getting crushed. Whether it's your favorite tech stock that's off 50% or more from the highs, or that growth oriented small cap you used to tell all your friends about, there are very few places to hide. Energy has been one of the only areas of the market that's been able to hide from the madness, but that's not the only place that investors have been looking to protect their assets. Consumer defensive stocks have been another area of a little bit of growth, I guess. Um, looking over the last month, you got a couple of names that are up four, five, six, seven percent. So that's a good thing. But rather than just rolling the dice on any random consumer defensive stock, let's take a look at Zax.com and see which one of these jumps apart from the rest. So the first stock I want to check out here is Kellogg's. The cereal maker, I'm sure you've all had a bowl full of cornflakes every now and then. Currently, a Zach's rank number three hold. I was really surprised when I saw that, as far as our Zach's industry rank goes, the food miscellaneous industry is actually in the bottom 16% of our Zach's industry rank. That means that the stocks inside of this industry are not in the good graces of our Zach's rank. So despite the performance that we've seen, look at this nice move from Kellogg down at 60 bucks in March, all the way over 70 today. Pretty good move there, but it has not translated over to the earnings side. So here I wanted to pop in and take a look at what some of the peers are in this industry. You have MetaFast, you also have McCormick and Company, Cisco, Chef's Warehouse. We want China, I don't think I want China. Uh, these are all stocks in that industry. So I decided, well, let's take a look at McCormick and dig into the details a little bit and see why this is a Zach's rank number two buy in that same industry. As always, folks, the best place is that detailed estimates page. So you just go ahead and click on that, and this is where you get all of the goodies. Here you see the revenue growth, 4.9% this year, 3.8 next year. That's translating to EPS growth, 3.9 this year, 7.7 .7 next year. So moving in the right direction, and this has changed recently as you have analysts moving the needle higher, at least, for the current year, over the course of the last 60 days, you have one analyst making a move, three analysts for next year, but the impact has really been nada on the uh, Zach's consensus estimate for the current year. You got about a penny up for next year. So again, these are not going to be like the sexiest stories in the world. We're talking about a company that makes spices, okay? Uh, Coca-Cola is another one a lot of people have been talking about. Again, part of that is just the, the move that the stock has had. Here we are bottoming out around 58 bucks, and they rallied up over 66 before giving a little bit back. Now, Coca-Cola is also going to pay you almost uh, two and a quarter, two and three quarters, basically, 2.73% dividend there. But it is Zach's rank number three hold. And again, I was surprised to see this. Beverages, soft drinks, bottom 9% of our Zach's industry rank. So I went and took a look at what some of the other names are here, and there is nothing that is in the good graces of the Zach's rank, right? A three is as good as we're going to get. So while we're drinking, let's take a look at the alcohol industry. Again, also not in the good graces of our Zach's industry rank, bottom 18% there. But this one is a Zach's rank number two buy, so I liked seeing that. The Duckhorn Portfolio the ticker is Napa. I'll let you guys piece that together. That's right. I bet you there's some wine happening here. So if we look at the revenue estimates, 9.58% growth for the current year, 9.32 for next year. Current year EPS, 3.45. Next year, 19.44. What has the recent move been? Well, you got positivity. Three analysts up in the ante for the current year, three for next year. That's pushed up our Zach's consensus estimate from 58 cents to 60 cents for the current year and 69 cents to 71 for next year. The last little tidbit I want to show you folks is my favorite chart on earth, the price consensus and EPS surprise chart on Zax.com. Now the stock has not been around that long. So really we only have data going back to May of 2021. This left Y axis is the EPS. The right Y axis is the price. The black line is the stock's price, right? Now, these multicolored lines represent the evolution of our Zach's consensus estimates over time. And if you're seeing this pattern, this is exactly what you want to see. You want to see estimates going from bottom left to top right, because eventually the stock carries along. Now, look at this now. 
divergence, I tell you, between the price and the earnings. When you see that, that's always an opportunity for the stock price to catch up with where those earnings are. So in terms of a defensive stock, if you're out there looking for one, take a look at Napa, the Duckhorn portfolio. That's the one that's in the good graces of our Zach's rank. Every time you share this video, somebody finds a cool toy in a cereal box. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, tweet at Bartosiastics, and check out Zax.com slash promo for this week's deal on our Zax Investor Collection. For Zax.com and everybody else here, I'm Dave Bartosiak.